What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I wanted to talk about um, Bailey being the uh, Women's Royal Rumble winner for this year and what implications that may have on her character change going forward. I do believe at some point they're going to most likely turn her baby face because the crowd is going to pretty much want that. If you saw the reaction the crowd showed, um, throughout the entire night for Bailey, it was overwhelmingly positive. And even when she won uh, the match, you see the crowd pointing at the WrestleMania sign with her. You saw how excited the crowd got. The crowd was chanting Bailey throughout the match. And even when she's about to get eliminated, people were damn near booing and like they don't want her to get eliminated. And she's a heel. Right now, she's a heel. She's part of damage control. And I do think um, <clears throat> at the Royal Rumble, we saw the fans behind her. A lot of people on um, social media picked her to win. And you could tell it really translated with the crowd and the audience. And I do think um, at some point, depending on how she decides on who she's going to face, I do feel like she's going to end up being in that baby face role once again. Granted, I don't think she's going to be the hugger Bailey because I, I think she's past that stage in her uh, wrestling career, being the hugger and, you know, being bubbly. But I do think um, she's going to have that positive reaction from the fans week in and week out. And especially how they set this up. Because I don't think she's going after Rhea. Even though that would be a very interesting match, there's no story there. The story that they've been planning the seeds of for months is pretty much damage control essentially kicking Bailey out. There's been a lot of instances where Bailey didn't know the game plan, and that's because they didn't tell her the game plan. They have essentially, you know, kind of moved her to the side with the addition of Oscar, with the addition of Kyrie saying they kind of moved her to the side and then EO being the champion is one of those things where you've you were seeing the seeds you just didn't know when they were going to turn on her and if you watch if you guys remember you know the two ladies EO and Rio was watching the match backstage of you know the women's match who's going to win and they cut to EO her response you could tell she didn't look too happy even though that was the game plan you can tell she wasn't looking too happy that Bailey won. And then you cut to Rhea. She's smiling. Like, she doesn't care. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how they play that up. I think that's going to be the, the better story to tell that Bailey will go after EO's title. But the question is, how? How is that going to happen? Will it be a situation where Bailey is, uh, you know, she's about to choose Rhea? But then maybe she overhears a conversation or she overhears something or sees something that she didn't like and then she changes her mind. Or is it a situation where they force her? They say, hey, you better choose Rhea or whatnot. And then maybe try to attack her or intimidate her. Either way, it's going to turn Bailey babyface. Because even though she's in a heel faction right now, we see the signs. We know what's going to happen. We've seen how they be leaving Bailey hanging every time she tries to give them a high five or a hug. They they don't care. And as fans watching that, people love Bailey for some some for other reasons outside of her wrestling ability. You know, you you want to see, you know, someone feel appreciated and she hasn't been appreciated. So now that she's the, uh the women's Royal Rumble winner, and she's going to decide who she's going to face. I do think they're going to really start ramping up this story of damage control, turning on Bailey. And I think in the process, she's already getting babyface reactions now. It's really going to ramp up. And even though her heel run, heel run when it initially started, I definitely enjoyed. I, I felt like it's kind of gotten stagnant. It's kind of the most cliche heel-like stuff. I think it's going to be very interesting to see her character change back into a baby face. Not the the hugger Bailey, but more or less maybe 
keep some of her heel attributes, but at the same time, you know, the fans are going to want to see her do well. So it's going to be very interesting to see, but I do feel like relatively soon, the uh, Bailey will end up turning face, uh, turning into a baby face again. And I'm looking forward to the story they're going to tell with EO and Bailey going into this year's WrestleMania because pretty much Bailey is going to have an uphill battle. And even then, I, I want to see her interactions with Bianca. I want to see her interactions with all the other women on the SmackDown roster because even when she does turn babyface, she's going to be by herself. She's not going to have no help initially because everybody's going to remember what what she did with damage control. Kind of like the same thing they did with uh, Jay Uso. Like, I don't know if we're supposed to easily forgive you after all you've done now that your own people turned on you. So it's gonna, that's going to be a very interesting story to see how that's going to play out going forward as well. So I'm looking forward to what they're doing with Bailey. That was the right choice for her to win this year's uh, Royal Rumble. Comment down below. Let me know if you are you guys excited for the Bailey EO feud that we're potentially may end up getting, and also the fact that we're probably gonna get a baby uh, um, a baby face run with Bailey going forward. Are you guys excited about that? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150k. And I'm still here to speak to YouTube rest and champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kidding with me. See y'all next one. Peace.